Hi Year 9, I'm Mrs Lloyd, I'm Head of Science. Uh, for those that don't teach, I'm going to just go through with you the different structures of science courses we have available to you in Year 10 um, and explain what it means if you take science as an option or whether you don't take science as an option and continue with the standard numbers of science lessons in Year 10 and 11. Now all of you will have a minimum of nine lessons of science on your timetable for years 10 and 11. In the option is whether you take additional hours on top of that as well in order to gain an additional qualification. So here are the three pathways that are available to you. So if you opt for triple science, that's one of your option columns um, that you have available to you, you will have the same content and the same number of hours as double award, plus your additional hours for your option, which would be an additional four hours. Now, if you don't opt for triple science, you will either be put into a class of double GCSE science or double applied science. Now then, double GCSE science, I'll explain in a moment, is just a different structure to double applied. There is not one that's easier than another. They just have a different level of exam content depending on what your preference might be. Now, as it says there now, what we will do is whatever, whatever sets you are in, we look and we review those sets to make sure you're all in the right place in order to maximise the achievement you're able to reach at the end of year 11. So we'll tr start with triple science. So in triple science, you'll have six exams over the two years. So you'll have three exams in year 10, uh, June time, and you'll have three exams in year 11. All of those exams are one hour and 45 minutes each. Okay. Now, on top of those six exams, you'll also have three practical exams. They're done in class with your teacher, so they're nothing too, uh, too scary to worry about. They're done as a normal practical where you collect your results and explain your results. Um, but because you're doing triple science, you will do one biology, one chemistry and one physics practical exam. Now, as it says here, at the end of year 11, you will have three separate grades. You'll have a biology grade, a chemistry grade and a physics grade. And you're not limited in those grades so there are there is foundation and higher tier available to all of you um, and within those then you're able to get anything between a star to g and that that grade is awarded at the end of year 11. so with double award it's the same structure you still have six exams over the two years but this time the exams are slightly shorter because it's re reflecting the fact you've got slightly less content that's been taught to you so those exams will be um, again three at the end of year 10 three at the end of year 11 um, but this time they're one hour and 15 minutes each now because you're doing double award which means you get two overall grades you only do two practical exams in january of year 11 rather than three as the triple award will do now then you will still sit two biology exams two chemistry and two physics and although you can see the component grades for those courses all of those grades get added together to give you two final overall grades at the end of year 11 which is why it's double science it gives you those two grades now exactly the same as the triple science um, foundation tier and higher tier is available for anybody, for everybody. Um, and at the end, then there's a full range of grades between A star and G. Now with double science, this, the, the grades will either be two grades the same, for example, A star, A star, or you'll have two grades side by side. So A star, A or A, B, for example. Um, and that is reflected in the overall total score that you've achieved over those six exams over the two years, plus your practical exam. So the final option then, um, it's not part of your option column, but it's when you don't opt for triple science. The alternative course we have then is double applied science. Now, as I said earlier, this is not easier than triple or double. It just has a different course structure. So this time um, there's three exams over the two years. So you'll only have two exams in year 10 at the end of year 10 in June, and you'll have one exam in year 11. And those exams are one hour and 15 minutes each. Now the scores from those three exams will then be added to what we call a task-based assessment. Um, that is it's like a little exam paper, but it's done in class with your teachers um, between November and January in year 11. And that, that gets marked by WJEC and added to the scores you've had in your exams. And again, then similar to triple and double, you get one practical exam in January of year 11. Um, same again in that you get um, higher tier and foundation tier papers available to anyone, everybody. Um, and all of those three exams, your one task based assessment and your practical exam is added together to give you two overall grades, the same as the other double award at the end of year 11. 
So whether you take the triple science as part of one of your option columns or whether you decide to stay with the double award science and not take up one of your option columns, the, the way that we teach the content at GCSE in class is quite similar across the three courses. So quite like you've got now in year nine, you'll have a workbook in class that will allow you to um, have notes that will help you to be able to have lots of self-assessments, to be able to check when you've applied your knowledge, does it make sense and do you understand and are you making good progress? And it gives you plenty of opportunity to review your work and ask for help in class if you need it. So you, you need to decide, you're welcome to speak to any of your teachers. We'll be able to advise you as to what we think might be more suitable to you. But if you wanted to take triple science, so you've got the additional content that you would need to revise for your exam and those additional lessons then in order for us to help you um, cover that content and check your understanding in that content. Um, what we ask for for triple science is what we, and it's to help you achieve the best grade that you possibly can. Um, to opt for triple science, you should be looking at a level 6A or a level 7 in science from at the end of year 9. So what that means for now is that you would already be hitting at least a level 6 um, from September this year um, and then progressing towards the top end of a, a level 6 or a level 7 at the end of year 9. Um, You'll also have endotopic tests throughout year nine, and that's another indication because obviously at, trip, at GCSE, um, you are assessed by past paper questions and endotopic tests. So by showing good percentages in your endotopic tests in year nine, we'll give you an idea as to whether you'll cope quite well with the content, the extra content as well in the triple science as you go into year 10 and 11. Um, there is a lot of work. There's a lot of work at GCSE for all the subjects, any subject that you would take. Um, Obviously, triple science has slightly more content than double award. Um, so you need to be willing to put some work in at home, uh, not hours and hours, but just to keep up with the information that you're given and keep on top of any homework that we're giving you. Um, but also you need to enjoy science les lessons, both the theory part where we're doing um, a written part of a lesson, as well as the practical, um, because obviously there's a lot of work to be covered. So therefore, we are going to be working at a relatively you know, speedy pace as we go through. Um, it's not that you get any more pressure on you at triple, triple science or any less help from your teachers. That would be exactly the same across the three courses. Um, it's just that there's a slightly bigger demand on you for your revision and you for keeping on top of the work that you are covering. Um, now, any of the teachers will be able to give you some advice. You're welcome to pop and see me at any time if you're not quite sure which is which or if your parents have any questions. Um, so just let us know if we can help you. And we look forward to just working with you in year 10, whichever course you decide on starting. Okay. Thank you, Nine. Bye.